this is going to be the intro to part 19. Um, as you can see, the TA is still laying here. I, um, when I went to install it, and one of my viewers mentioned this too, um, when I got the TA, that new TA, there was no instructions with it. Now, there is a bunch of gaskets in here. And one of the viewers mentioned that uh, uh, I had to check the uh, tolerances on it. Um, so I'm assuming these gaskets are used for shims, but I didn't get any instructions to see what the tolerance was supposed to be. Um, also have no idea what this little uh, roller thing was for. Um, but I, I called the guy that I bought it off of and... Um, he has instructions and he is sending them to me now i this was tuesday today's friday uh, he he was gonna mail them to me um and i checked the box this morning and i hadn't gotten them so um without those instructions and how to put that uh um, the tolerance is specs for putting that TA back in there. I'm kind of dead in the water for that And that's the first thing that's got to go back into that transmission housing. So um, Let me take you over to the tractor. I uh, do have video footage this week. I've got uh, footage of um, putting um, the seal back together uh, axle seal I've actually taken the other one apart um, but one of the things that I want to do is, um, before this thing goes all back together, I, I need to, uh, get that fluid drained out of that rear end. Um, I, I want to take the, the, uh, brakes, um, uh, the master cylinder off of the brake or off of the housing get these tubes off of there um, I just want to get everything cleaned up as you can see there's a lot of dirt on that I also want to pull this top plate off of here and check the the uh, the linkages um, the linkages and uh, going down into the gearbox to see if uh, anything uh, needs to be replaced what they look like if they're worn um, and, and I want to start getting some of those other things cl uh, cleaned up um, I think I've shown the brake I, I pulled the brake off of one side of this thing to um, to inspect it to see what what there was going on with it and it de definitely needs uh, um, brake pads in there um, the plates look good but the brakes uh, the pads were really worn um, but anyways I there's a lot of things that I've, I've got to do with this um, and I'm gonna bring you along for it now I'm not really sure next week is going to be a very busy week for me. Um, I've got an auction that I'm going to on Tuesday. I've got a preview on Monday of the auction. And it's 100 miles away. Um, I, there's a couple of things for the shop that I'm looking for. Uh, drill press, bandsaws, stuff like that. Um, so I've got that going on. Um, Sunday I go up to Canada on Sundays and I've got to meet a guy up there and he's going to give me uh, the documentation for uh, a trailer uh, I've got to go down to Long Island to pick up a trailer and uh, uh, deliver it up to him so um, that's going to happen I, I'm going to pick up the documents from him while I'm up in Canada on Sunday and then uh, um, tentatively Thursday go down and pick up uh, the trailer and bring it back uh, here into uh, Buffalo area um, 
So I'm not really sure what I'm going to be able to get out for next week on the tractor, but um, I, I'll do my best to get something going for it. But anyways, uh, again, this video for this week is going to be a little bit all over the place. I'm going to be jumping around because I'm um, still waiting on uh, the instructions to get that... Uh, um, transmission back together uh, the specifications for that TA so um, then I will get that back on I'm gonna pull these uh, again pull this stuff apart and uh, start taking care of that making sure that I don't need anything in here um, even though the TA could or that uh, transmission housing could go back on with that plate still removed so um, uh, I've got some things to do. We're progressing along. I've just got a couple of points that I'm stuck on, so I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but uh, one of my obsessive compulsive things is I, I mentioned it before in another video when I took this plate off of here. It, it looked like it wasn't original to the tractor. There were square corners like this out here that kind of protruded out. So in my anal state, I had to do something about it. So I took it over to the welding bench and ground off the corner so that it kind of matched it. What I did is took a scribe and scribed the bottom of it and uh, just ground off the corner so it kind of matched it. Um, if I was really obsessive compulsive, I would probably cut this back at an angle and kind of taper them down so that it looked like it matched more, but I'm not going to do that. Um, but I just had to show you uh, how obsessive compulsive I was. Um, I just wanted to shoot a short video. I have uh, went down and bought a couple of rattle cans that I... Uh, uh, paint cans, rattle paint cans, and... Uh, wanted to hit some of the spots on this transmission while I still had it on the stand um, and I can spin it around so what I'm going to do is just uh, hit some of the probably the harder spots to get to um, once it uh, I start putting it back together um, and then that way I can just go through and touch it up now Again, I, I just bought some rattle cans, and um, what I'm going to do is I, I've got to get a gun. Um, I'm going to get a paint gun, an air gun that can uh, shoot enamel that has a uh, tip that will shoot enamel. And uh, I'll have to get some. I, I can get the paint from the local um, Case IH dealer, the original type paint. Um, and I'll have to get some stuff, you know, masking tape, paper, um, reducer, enamel uh, reducer to clean the gun and stuff with, uh, get a little setup going for the larger spots. But right now, um, I just wanted to do the rattle can on some of the spots on the transmission where it could be harder to get to after I put it back together. So um, I just wanted to show it to you. Um, one of the things that I'm doing is uh, I'm going to be putting that seal back into uh, the uh, axle uncap housing <clears throat> and then putting it back over the axle. Um, the axle's in kind of, uh, well, it's in good shape. It's just got some surface rust on it. But where the wedge is sat, um, it's got like some buildup and in, in stuff. And what I want to do is I'm going to clean these axles up. Um, but what I want to do right now is just get them kind of clean. Because when I put that uh, end cap seal back over the end of the axle, it kind of rides the seal surface rides on the axle and I don't want to screw it up so um, I want to keep it as intact as possible so I'm just trying to take some of the major dirt and uh, gunk off of it and where the wedge is set I'm just going to be pulling uh, uh, getting that little build up off of there
I just happen to have these uh, emery strips. I have a whole bunch of them. I got them from an old machinist in an estate sale, but um, you can use whatever you want to use or have available. I'm not going to show you all of this. I'll bring you back. Just pressing that seal into the housing. Very big. <clears throat> this is that uh, oil can that I've got uh, um, the Hytran fluid in. Mm -hmm. I just want to put some on that. Trying to get some onto the ceiling surfaces. You might have noticed before that there was a, a, a tap in here. Um, what I had done is cleaned that thread out, that one bolt where uh, it had stuck out a little bit. Um, I cleaned that out. And I'm going to just going to put a little bit of oil onto this axle so the uh, seal slides over it. There's a little hump in here and it goes up. Oh, I should have told you I put that square ring in there too. Let me uh, let me grab a couple of bolts that I can uh, stick in there and line that up with. What I did is I uh, got a bolt on opposite sides of each other, and it just kind of drawn it in. Now um, I had to put a little longer bolt in the one side to get it started. But what I'll do is once I get it drawn in a little ways. Um, I'll just take it back out again. It's just a uh, 3 8 bolt. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just take it back out again and uh, put the regular bolt back in. I gotta replace that one bolt anyways because I'm not gonna put that uh, wheel pointer. Well, it's not really a pointer. It's uh, a bracket that comes off of that bolt. That's why that bolt was long. Um, one of my viewers told me that uh, what it is is like a uh, bracket that just lets you know that you've got the tire, the tire is in too close to the axle housing. 
Okay, that's it. What I'm going to do is uh, take the other side off, do the same thing for that. It can, uh, I could be painting it while I'm uh, painted and let it dry while I'm getting that transmission back together, too. But I'll bring you back. A couple of things. Um, I, I tried to clean this axle up a little bit before I took this one side apart. Um, I had to uh, file, it looks like a, um, there was like a weld bead on there. Maybe uh, somebody had been well. There's a lot of things on this tractor that kind of uh, aftermarket. I bet you somebody just threw their stinger down and uh, got a, a bead there. Uh, but this is that uh, bracket that I was telling you about. This thing is supposed to be bent out at an angle like this to keep uh, you from... Um, getting the wheel hub into the axle housing. So um, that's why that long bolt was over on the other side. But I just wanted to show that to you. I'm gonna pull this side apart. Okay, remember I told you I didn't have great luck with uh, getting studs out of broken bolts. That bolt broke the one that held that bracket on. Uh, hopefully there's enough of it in there that I don't have to uh, I might be able to work it out from um, get it off without having to drill it. If you get a little bit of it sticking out, what you can do is, uh, I don't know why the thing was so tight. Maybe it had been, that thing had been hit, so um, maybe it was torqued or pressured, but the rest of them broke through real easily. But anyways, if there's enough of it sticking out, you can usually weld something on it and take a nut and weld on it and uh, um, get it out that way. But I'll bring it back. So here's this side off. I'll pull the seal out and uh, get this housing cleaned up. Here's that old seal that, or that other seal that I took out. Now I tried to go in from the back like I had said on the previous one and tried to pry it out but it wouldn't come out that way. So again I, I went around with a chisel and uh, did it and then turned it over and just pounded on it on the back and it came right out. It was really pretty gunked up back there. Um, but I'll bring you back. Sometimes you wonder how things happen. I uh, grabbed a pipe wrench um, and just came over here and put it on it. And the damn thing was loose. I, it, I really wasn't any force at all. I, you kind of wonder, I mean, I could understand if it was partly broken to begin with, but that kind of looks like a fresh break. Um, kind of wonder, with no uh, resistance like that, why the damn thing broke to begin with. But uh, so be it. It came out. Um, what I'm going to do is chase out those things with a die. I'm sorry, a tap. And uh, um, get ready to put that back together. It's funny that uh, it is an in straight. I mean, it hasn't been, it doesn't look like it was re tapped, it's just crooked. It's crooked with the tap in relationship to the axle. I mean, you can see that it's uh, actually angled out a little bit. I won't bore you with this. 
Um, I, I just wanted to see, I, I've got to actually start doing something else, but what I was doing um, before somebody came is I pulled the pin out of the uh, drawbar, and I want to get that drawbar out of there because there's an oil plug for that rear end up over it. Now, there's actually three plugs under there, so I'm not sure if the casing is separated, but... Um, there's you can see there's an oil plug up here over the top of the drawbar and then there's an oil plug on each side like on the axle so i'm not sure if the casing is separated in there and that's why they did it but um i wanted to loosen that drawbar up and uh, i'm going to shift it forward um i've got some counterbalance issues here going on so I'm not going to take it out through the back because I don't want the uh, um, with the weight of the three-point hitch and everything on it I don't want it to uh, uh, pivot backwards so um, I'm just going to leave the uh, drawbar draped out of the front here um, until I get that stabilized or get the transmission back on and then I don't have to worry about that issue. I can get this housing off and figure out why the hell there, those bolts were missing in there. But anyways, um, I, I've got to start something else, but I just wanted to show that to you. And there is that drawbar slid forward. Um, Again, I've got to go uh, start, uh, well, continue on another project that I got going. But anyways, uh, I'll, uh, when I get back to it, I'll pull them plugs out, get the rest of that oil out of that rear end.